Hi and welcome to our Logistics TMC Live event for the Manchester College. I'll shortly pass you over to Tracy Boardman, who is the head of the Logistics Department at the Manchester College, and Tracy will be providing you with a showcase of the Logistics Department. I'll now pass you over to Tracy to get this session started. Over to you, Tracy. Thank you. Thank you, Rhys. And hello and welcome, everyone. Thank you for joining us on this logistics event. And it will be really pleasing to see you hopefully become involved in logistics in the future. So I'll just run through some of the items we do within the logistics department. Okay. At the Manchester College, we can offer you a range of opportunities. Logistics is one of the fastest growing sectors in the UK. It's rapidly changing and we are becoming more and more developed in the logistics industry, uh, including things like drones, automation, so really fast growing sector. Some of the jobs you might be able to go into in logistics are drivers, so LGV drivers, HGV drivers, pickers, packers, supervisors, transport planners and route planners. Um, Within there, you can also think about procurement and design, imports and export managers. Additionally, a lot of logistics companies also have things like designers. If you think about the sides of lorries and trucks, they've all got designs on them. So massive area, loads of different jobs you can get involved in. Some of the salaries you might hit if you do get involved in logistics are transport managers are earning roughly between four to 50,000. Lorry drivers are on 24. I think at the moment that's actually high because there's a huge demand for lorry drivers. Uh, warehouse operatives are on about 18,000. Forklift drivers 18 to 30 depending on what your experience is and which forklift you can drive. Purchasing managers 40,000 and supply chain managers normally about 43,000. That's normally a, a basic salary. So lots of good money, great career opportunities. So I'll now explain a little bit about what we do. Okay, logistics of now. I think we all know a lot of people consider logistics to be lorry driving. Very different. There's loads of different things you can get involved in. I'll go through some of the opportunities we, we offer here. Okay, so we can do LGV driving. So if you want to come to the college and learn how to drive a lorry, it's a large goods vehicle. It's 18 foot, 18 ton. So quite a big one, but not an articulated. We'll give you the tools to get through your test. So basically, you will do a course with us. It's four weeks plus an additional two, two weeks for maths and English if it's needed. And you will work through some workbooks. We will pay for your medical. We will pay for you through your mod one, which is your theory test, mod two, which is your theory test, mod three, which is your driver training test, and mod four, which is the show me, tell me. So basically, if you are on benefits of any kind, we would cover the cost for you on all of that. We also offer CPC periodic training. Again, if you are on benefits, we can cover the cost of that for you. Alternatively, if you are working full time and you need to update your periodic training, we can also offer you that at a very low cost. We also offer the taxi knowledge. So as in London, you've got to do the knowledge. You've also got to do the knowledge for Manchester. So if you want to be a Hackney driver in Greater Manchester, you've got to do the knowledge. You've also got to do it for private hire. So we offer both. Again, it's a fully funded course, so you would have nothing to pay and we will provide you with the practical experience to pass that knowledge. OK, 
can also offer you the opportunity once you've got your license before the, uh, for NVQ driving, we can offer you the opportunity to continue on and do your level two NVQ. This gives you the opportunity for driving in other authorities who are looking for people who have an NVQ. So outside Manchester, a lot of authorities look for an NVQ qualification. That will allow you basically to become involved in things like the school runs and council bids. We also offer forklift truck driving, or we'll be doing very soon. So our forklift truck driving course, again, will encompass course workbooks, practical driving, assessment and test. That's over a two week period. So if you want your forklift license and you're currently on benefits, we can do that free. If you are currently working and you want your faultless license, we can do that at a very reasonable cost. Okay. We deliver logistics courses um, to both level one and level two and level three. This can be for both adults or um, 16 to 18s, but obviously yourselves being adults, we do offer separate adult courses. Some of these include international logistics, um, they include supply chain, they'll include warehousing and inventory. So a lot of opportunities and a lot of things to understand. So some of the courses we offer, we've already gone through these in the previous slides, but we offer LGV driver training, forklift truck driver training, which is the counterbalance, taxi course, which runs either for nine weeks or 14 weeks. The nine week course runs for three days. The 14 week course runs for two days. So you can sit that to, you can basically en enrol on either which suits you the best. The MVQ level two is a short course, but you have to come back on several occasions over a period of time. So you might only be in for two days or three days, and then you'll have to go and practice, put into practice what you've done on the course. So. Relatively short course, but quite intense. Uh, we also offer the level one, two and three logistics. And we can also offer level three procurement and supply chain. Okay, so all about logistics in the Manchester logistic tutor here at Manchester College and today we're going to be having a quick talk around the workshop. So when you come down to the logistics workshop some of the things you'll be learning about is the diesel fuel system, uh, the hydraulic systems on a vehicle and the air braking system on an LGV vehicle. So when you come to Manchester College to learn to drive it's not just about driving the truck it's about knowing all the controls within the truck itself it's about knowing the characteristics as well the width the length the height, the weight, the way that it moves when it's loaded is about knowing what to do in emergency situations when you break down. And it's about doing the full walk round check on a vehicle to avoid any breakdown so that you don't compromise your own safety and compromise the safety of others. So if you are interested in logistics, um, then um, once you've done your procurement and supply course, which is classroom based here itself, you can move on to do um, the uh, learn to drive an HGV. Uh, this is a booklet that you will work your way through um, and also from there as well. We also do uh, taxi training and uh, private hire training as well, which will uh, give you an advanced certificate in drive if you want to go drive for one of the local authorities. So that's a short tour of the logistics department and thanks very much for joining us today and I hope to see you in the future.
that was Alan, one of our tutors. So, okay. some of the industry partners we have, we are working closely with certain partners to provide opportunities for job roles once you've completed courses. And some of those partners we're currently working with are Royal Mail, Wincanton, XPO Logistics, Yodel, Dixon's Car Phone Warehouse. We've been working closely with Greater Manchester Council and Greater Manchester Combined Authority. And we work very closely with the Department of Works and Pension and the job centres. Right, well, I've absolutely loved the course here. Um, I think one of the things that I've enjoyed most is just the opportunity to experiment, try out, explore different things. I've done things that I've never done before. Returning back to the college as an adult, I was quite apprehensive to be fair, but I, tr I taught myself out of things, whereas as, as I'm getting older now, age isn't an issue here, so it's here for you to study. No one's really in any eyebrows about me coming back as an adult. They want you to come back as an adult, so just come back as an adult and, and start. You're never too old. Returning to college as an adult was, it was quite nerve-wracking actually. <laughs> yeah, I didn't really know what to expect, but like, I think it's the best, I feel like it's the best thing I've ever done. I've, I've, I've had so much fun doing it and I've met so many lovely friends and Matthew has been amazing. And yeah, I just love it. I enjoy teaching because it's great seeing students work to their full potential, learning new skills and achieving things they never thought they could achieve before. Uh, I've been in teaching now eight years. Uh, I've come into education to teach because I want to give back all my knowledge and experience to the students to see the students thrive. about the Manchester College will be the support that you get from everybody. Everybody's always like very hands-on and trying to help you the best way they can. The, the thing I enjoy most about teaching is watching the students flourish and watching them from their starting point to their end point, watching their confidence grow. I've had help with funding from the college. They've got a bursary team that were very helpful. They helped me work out where I needed to go to get extra funding for the course. I mean, this course is just, I think it's just made me feel just that I can do things that, you know, a year ago I was so nervous showing things to other people. The things that I like most about the Manchester College is I belong somewhere now. I can come on a Friday, I belong somewhere, I can get as dirty as I like, I can learn something that I'm interested in and get away on Friday where I'm not a mum, I'm, I'm Vicky the mechanic. So to sum up Manchester College in one word, I'd say supportive. The Manchester College for me is um, innovative. To me, Manchester College personally means progression within my career. To me, the Manchester College means opportunity. So as you can see, we offer a vast range of courses, but the thing that certainly comes across on all of those is the enjoyment and fun that students have. And certainly in logistics, you'll have exactly the same. We have a great team around us with a vast amount of knowledge. So come and join us on an exciting journey to the future. Be part of something amazing. And thank you very much for joining us. And if you have any questions and answers, please don't hesitate to ask us. And thank you very much. Thanks, Tracy. Yeah, we do have some questions for you here, so uh, we'll get started. So how long does the course last? Depends which course. Reese, um, if you are doing the taxi course, the taxi course lasts either nine weeks or 14 weeks. If you're doing the LGV course, the LGV course lasts four weeks in college, 
plus an additional two weeks for maths and English if you need it. But then over and above that, you've got a lot of the practical practical and tests you've got to do. So it might take you an additional two to three months to get through all of the tests. But all of those are done with our help, but you're not necessarily on site, apart from driving the lorry uh, literally the week before your final driving test. That's great. Thank you, Tracy. Uh, what careers can studying logistics at the Manchester College take me to? OK, well, you can if, if you study at one of the qualifications, you can work towards basically being a procurement manager or, or working in procurement. You can work in warehousing as a supervisor. If you study the LGV course, if you come on our LGV course, you can become a professional driver and ultimately work towards being a HGV driver. Again, if you do the forklift course, when we get that finally approved, which is very soon. Um, you'll be able to do the go into a warehouse and be a forklift truck driver. And finally, if you do the taxi course, you can basically become either part of the team for somebody else or become self-employed and drive your own taxi. Brilliant. Thank you, Tracy. Uh, are there many LGV jobs available? There are loads of LGV jobs available and lorry driving jobs. There is currently a shortage of 55,000 drivers. So it's a great opportunity for driving. Well, yeah, that is a lot of opportunity there. <laughs> um, so how could I progress, uh, excuse me, progress onto my HGV license? OK, if you pass your LGV course, um, Currently, we don't offer the HGV license at the college. I am looking to. Uh, if they'll buy me a nice big lorry, we will do that. But at the moment, I haven't got a HGV, but you can go and do that through other providers at a cost. Um, I think it's about 1,200 or thereabouts to do your HGV license. But obviously, once you've got your LGV, you're up and running, you're driving, you're earning a salary. And some companies will put you through it through their own company, so you might not even have to pay for it. That's great. Uh, you mentioned the taxi knowledge of Manchester earlier. So uh, a question, how do I gain the taxi knowledge of Manchester? OK, so at the college, we have two exceptional teachers who teach taxi. Um, they work closely um, with Manchester Council, basically making sure that we're providing the correct routes, that the council are aware that we're out and about in town. So we take the taxi drivers literally physically into town and they go and walk about the city centre and discuss the routes. So you literally get hands on knowledge of the city centre. We also do a lot of map work in the college and you also learn an awful lot from the two tutors. That's great. Thanks, Tracy. Uh, so when will the forklift training start? When is that starting? Uh, the forklift training will be starting in January. And we initially will be running it at our Openshaw site. Um, and it's going to be a two week course. So we're, we're ready to up and run for January for that. That's great. Thanks, Tracy. That brings us to the end of the questions. Um, have you got anything, anything else you'd like to add about logistics at the Manchester College? Logistics is an absolutely fantastic career. I've been involved in logistics for over a long time, 25 years now, um, and I've had an excellent career in it. Um, it's, it's a career that's a hidden career. People don't think about logistics, um, but literally anything on any of the shop's shelves that you go into have gone through logistics. So think about anything in any shop, anywhere you go, and it has been touched by logistics. That's great. Thank you, Tracy. Uh, yeah, so thanks everyone for viewing our logistics session. If you'd like to apply to the Manchester College for September 2021, please do visit our website, which is www.tmc.ac.uk. 
We do have courses available to start from January 2021. If you'd like some more information, please visit tmc.ac.uk forward slash Jan dash start dash adult. For learners with special educational needs and disabilities, we've got a transition team who will make the move to college a positive experience for you. Please contact them by emailing transition team at tmc.ac.uk. Uh, we hope you have enjoyed this session and thanks for viewing.